intense pulsed light, IPL, let's talk about that. Um, if you're ever going to invest in it, this is the perfect time to do it. And I use it, it's used for lots of things in the beauty industry, but I have used it to remove and fade down pigmentation problems that I have on my skin, obviously in the most exposed areas, which is face, neck, sort of legs, and definitely back of hands and arms. Um, I had a few that were quite bad and I started to really notice them about four years ago. Uh, but this is the thing, if you're ever going to do anything about them, you need to keep it up. So once every six months, I have gone to the same place, which is Body V in Q. I've used Bamika, who is a therapist there, who knows my body like a map. She knows where every single one is. And she's really, really attacked them. So if you're ever going to do it, I did the first one and I thought, oh, I don't really think this has done anything. And I was persuaded to carry on and I have. And I can honestly say that um, most of my pigmentation marks are either faded down to nothing and the ones which, well, they looked huge to me, they weren't that big, but they looked horrible, um, now have faded and you really wouldn't notice them. And when I did go in the salon, I was obviously in, in Greece last year, um, I put obviously oh, factor 50, factor 30. I thought, oh my goodness me, they're all gonna come back and they didn't at all. Um, so it has worked. This is a really good time of the year to do it and to make a start because you always do it in the winter when you're nicely covered up because you don't want to be exposed to the sun while you're doing it. So it is the perfect time. And, you know, I'm somebody who, I, I really, in fact, I cannot think of the last time I thought, oh, let's have a nice facial because it's just a great indulgence. I only ever have anything done at a salon that actually is going to make a difference. And I would only ever recommend that you do anything that would actually make a difference. It's not a pampering. This actually does make a difference. And I was quite embarrassed about mine. And they start because, you know, your collagen levels are depleting, as we all know. You've gone through the menopause and you will, um, if you're around about my age, you're definitely going to see them. It's worse on a lighter skin, but also Asian skins and black skins also get pigmentation marks. The machines are a lot better now. They once could only really pick up the difference between the dark and light on your skin, but now they can pick up all sorts of skins. So anybody should really go and have a consultation if they're bothering you. So that is my little beauty tip. It's not cheap, but then on the other hand, if you consider that this is going to make a massive difference in the long run, and I was literally, um, you know, I didn't want to wear t-shirts because I was so conscious, especially of the bottom half of my arm, which is the, the, the area that's been most exposed. And uh, now I can absolutely say with my hands on my heart, this has done the job. The machine I've used is, is a really good machine. So do your homework. I mean, obviously I do one locally, but um, you will ask around, make sure you've got a good machine. Uh, the, the machine that I use, and I will write it down in the comments, it's one that the NHS use for people who need to get rid of rosacea and things like that. And I have absolutely kept to somebody who is really good with that machine. So that's my little tip, my little beauty tip for us aging girls that don't want to quickly march.